What is this? Get up higher and higher on the leaderboard. Meanwhile, Team Akari still at the bottom. Still at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. It, 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 the, 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 there's, there's only so big brain you can get in this one. I feel like this guys, is a little listen. More TSM has heavy. gotten a lot of wins over the yeah, years. Yeah, Today man, is not a day that they will tweet it. about getting a W. Yeah, it's just guys. not. Excuse you, sir, but no, it's. Uh, I, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but it's not looking too good for Hikaru. Okay, so basically, this is this is this is what it's come to, really. I mean, for real, seriously. Like, I mean, seriously. Whatever. Welcome back, everybody. We uh, do think that we're going to get our last match of the day underway, and that's uh, the matchup between David Pakman and Easy with Aces. Well, 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 uh, well, well. I mean, congrats to the winner of XQC and Hoffer. I mean, Hoffer oh. played an incredible game. I think the most impressive win I've ever seen, not even having to use a single move on the board. I. She just set a new world record. I thought the fastest way to beat someone was with two moves. Yeah, I thought it was you versus Jay Shly. Who could forget the Alexandra <laughs> Botez versus Jay Shly game of 2020? It's now been beaten by Hafu against XQC, who I believe XQC really just, if he played the bed opening a little bit better, I think he gets there. Has like any Super GM been a no show in a tournament? This is a good cue. All right, you guys, let me mute this and answer that question. So, yes, you guys, in the 1972 World Chess Championship match, the the, the guy who was playing the world champion, Boris Spassky, his name was Bobby Fischer. In game two of their match, I believe it was after he lost the first game, he he uh, he um, he got paranoid. He thought there, I think there were like they were bugging the chairs and there were problems with the table. And um, he uh, he just he forfeited the second game of the World Championship match against Boris Spassky. So um, so XUC is following in very like he's he, he's falling in he's following great company um, in terms of this match because Bobby Fischer um, he did that in the World Championship match against um, against. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the World Championship match against Boris Baski. Um, uh, Bobby Fischer forfeited a game. He said no, and uh, he said no and didn't show up. And look, they need to be in the mindset. Okay, I think this is going XQC. to be XQC tweets, from tweets and replies or or likes. Uh, Whoa! Did you help him ah, he liked this. Help? Okay, okay. Mm, I he liked this. Okay. No. I don't like. Uh, when I'm forced to interact with somebody that I don't like. If I'm playing a game of like five people and they invite somebody that I don't like, it's trash. Right? I that's annoying. Because I don't want to interact with them. Right? And yesterday I saw, I saw this Hikaru clip that I didn't, even, I didn't even see yesterday. And he looked mad at me. He looked mad at me for something that, for something that I said about, about, um, about their Fall Guys performance, and I feel really bad. Because I, I don't really know, like, sometimes if I'm wrong or not wrong, and how people take, like, some things that I say. And I felt bad that I would have to play chess, and he would have to interact with me and my content, and what I'm saying on stream, while he had, like, animosity, or he, like, saw me differently. And I felt bad that he would, he would, have, he would have to be in that position. I'll, I'll wait till you guys like whatever I'll wait for the clip but I will say um in regards specifically to one thing yesterday like I did overreact I I will I like I'll openly admit this like um I I did overreact to one of the jokes that he made on stream yesterday so I also actually feel bad in a separate way as well um but yeah joking aside you guys I I actually I, I overreact a little bit yesterday to to the banter that he 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 uh that he that he said so um so I, I will say that as well to be to be very clear let's go here i'm gonna take and take the pawn he said dude i i effed up i effed up so bad i thought you were mad at me and didn't want you to be forced to interact with me and my content on stream knowing it was happening i didn't know what to do so i kept going back to sleep thinking about it also now that i'm here i'm not too good at wording my thoughts but i was just doing org banter yesterday I had nothing to do with you orgs love that shit i thought i'd throw them a bone i didn't actually want any of you guys watch watch any of you guys play so i didn't know know how or, or what was going on um if you're i didn't deserve it thanks for the fucking huge raid man i appreciate it thanks for Much being love, here every day yeah sorry for all the thing with chess it was terrible dude and also i was wrong like i, I tried to explain to people dude i had i had no excuse but much love, yeah I, i've got it with the drama thanks for the time Zachary. Stop giving a platform to him, man. Okay, listen. I think this, this, this topic is actually quite interesting. 
and I hate that the, uh, it's so tainted that we can't even talk about it. When the game starts, I'll, I'll go back and, and the voice comes, but I'm gonna wrap it up. I, I, I'm actually curious about this. What topic? Uh, it just, um... Smile. Sometimes, like lately I saw Asmund Gold getting a lot of backlash on one of his videos from seven years ago, right? And his Twitter message was like, yo, dude, um, I'm gonna let the video out just because I think it's good to show that I, I have progressed, right? All right, um... Yeah, all right. Okay, okay, you guys. I'm not gonna watch. I'm not gonna watch the clips because I, I, I don't. I don't. I, I want to like relax and, and enjoy this. But I do. Um, I'm gonna. I'm just since it's clear to me since I have some context for what was said. Um, I'll talk about. I'll talk about it a little bit. Um, I'm gonna stop the music for a second too because I, I just like I'm gonna stop the music just for just for one second just to be clear. Um, so it sounds to me like there were there were a couple things that, that were said. Um. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna be very clear you guys and um, and I, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk specifically about myself I know he said other things um, which which I can which I can talk about briefly but here, here's what I'll say um, this is why this is why I find you know I find reddit to be very frustrating in general um, or live stream fails to be very frustrating because it feels like there's drama that's created out of nothing so it's like you know yesterday what happened is obviously fall guys was not going well mind you fall guys I did not expect it to go well to begin with let's be very very clear um, so I, w I was not expecting it to go well to begin with but there, there was a certain point in the stream when chat basically they started saying that everybody was like making fun of me or, you know, saying certain things. I, this was before I watched the clip even. And I, I, I made this one remark, you know, um, which was over the top, uh, make, make no mistake. Um, um, I'll, I'll back you up pretty solidly today against XTC. Okay. But that, that's not really the point. I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to talk generally here. And this is a little bit sort of outside what I normally talk about, but I filled it with like live stream fails and reddit it creates this drama it creates a sense like yes i was in, i was in a, i was in a bad mood i was annoyed and i kind of said something that was a little bit of an overreaction um 100 percent an overreaction i will openly admit that it was an overreaction i know that people are going to be like the problem is like when i say it's an overreaction you know people are gonna be like oh well look like obviously you know what what what, what a jerk what what you know what you know this and that and that, that's that's fine um but what I would say is, yes, yeah, so I made, I made this comment that was a little bit over the top, um, but I am not mad at XQC whatsoever. Um, it was sort of a heat of the moment thing where I just said something that was a little bit more than I should have. Um, so, yeah, there is no beef a, a, at all. Um, and, and, and frankly, I, I would also say this point, like if, you know, if, if, if something like this happens, I mean, like if he oversleeps, it's, it's a one time thing like that, like. A big big deal what what xqc has done for chess um re regardless of um you know regardless of oversleeping a match like far it matters way more way more in the bigger scheme of things like you know if you look back are people are people gonna think are people really gonna think about like xqc and think you know look this guy he overslept this match like you know it's such a disgrace the game of chess you know are they really gonna think that no of course not what people are gonna think is you know all, all of his fans and all my fans what they're gonna think is like you know he, he overslept this match but they're gonna look back to what he did in terms of um in terms of, of creating this boom with playing chess almost every day in in march and april um, so, so, so that, that's what I would say is that, yes, no one's going to care about this down the road. What he did, um, in terms of the, the impact he had for getting the whole chess boom started will always be what people remember far more, um, far more than, um, than, than this.